Yeah, a warm welcome, please. David Wallace, Janet Regan, everybody! <laughs> Mr. Wallace, Hi, come see. Mr. Thank Regan. You. Now, uh, you're very welcome. Charlie Regan, thank you for coming. David Wallace, just uh, a round of applause for how handsome David Wallace is, first of all. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's worth it. It was the, uh, the talk at the office today. Really? Yeah, he's a very handsome man. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean <laughs> to say to that. Yeah. Have you got anything to say about me there? Just... Charles Regan, very handsome. Yeah, yeah. 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 beautiful. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Moment's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Gave his brother a kidney, come on. Which is, in many ways is kind of better than Never playing for yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And how's your brother? He, he's good. I mean, it's a long road ahead, but uh, he's good. And Declan, my kidney, as I call him, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is apparently, uh, yes, thanks. Uh, he's doing really well. I've been left with Billy, the kidney, and uh, he's also doing well. We have a picture of you guys there. Yeah. That was afterwards, I presume? That was, uh, that was literally five hours afterwards. Wow. And uh, uh, an amazing moment, because it's like, they tell you his results. His kidney at that point was functioning better than mine, which was, you know, kind of troubling. I guess they, <laughs> they, they, they must have given him the better one uh, in the rush. Uh, but, you know, you've got to move on with life afterwards. Yeah. I presume he desperately needed it and was in a bad way, was he? Yeah, no, they didn't just do it for the crack, Joe. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, ca I, ca I cannot actually believe that that was your question. <laughs> he did need it, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, no, I lost I can... a bet to him. <laughs> Listen, I'm delighted it worked out, man. That's, that's great. Well done. Thanks, man. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. That's great. Uh, on the uh, theme of brotherhood, then, if we're going to go down this road, the Wallace brothers, I think, just may be Ireland's greatest set of sporting brothers. I was thinking about this in the build-up of the show. They may well be. So, all played for Ireland. And the only set of brothers in history anywhere ever to all have played for the Lions or be gone on a Lions tour at some stage, which is um, pretty amazing. What, was, uh, what were the parents feeding you? What was going on? We have you there, actually. Um, that was in 1997. I know it looks like it's from 1960 or something. <laughs> but, uh, That's, there's filters on that. <laughs> there's filters, yeah. Uh, what an amazing thing for your family. Do you know how you all managed to uh, play for Ireland and go on in Lions tours and everything? I don't know. I, well, I can only speak for myself, really, yeah. that, you know, I suppose I'd, I'd Richard and I'd Paul ahead of me and, and they kind of shone a light. And, and Henry as well, would've, would, my eldest brother, would have played with Richard. George Hook was their, was their coach for the Irish colleges and they won a triple crown. But um, to be honest, it was, it was nearly plain sailing because they just led the pathway. Um, Richard came home from a Lions in, in 93, I think, and just brought back all this information and, you know, what guys my age were doing in New Zealand right. and just started me on, on that path. I saw Paul was asked, uh, you know, what was the diet of the Wallace kids? And he said, spuds, spuds and mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah, maybe explains something. Yeah, it was literally, yeah, I think probably about 100 potatoes being peeled every, and Paul was eating most of them, to be fair, and, and I think that's what made me fast. He was so big that I had to get away from him. Is there any sporting greatness in the family? My father was, was big into sailing and, yeah. and would have rep, uh, represented Ireland for coaching and, and managing the uh, Olympic sailing team. And my mum, I think, was, was just happened to be really fast, but none of us really knew it till we, we came to a uh, sports day at schools and, uh, and she, she hammered everyone. So that was kind of, oh, mum right. was fast. So yeah, yeah. Okay, did mum, sorry, Jarlis, jump in. Did you run in, sport, in the dad's race on sports day? I haven't run yet, no. I don't think it'd be very good anymore if it's kind of yeah. bandy, bandy legs, but uh, it hasn't, hasn't come about yet, actually. I was asked to run in the dad's race on my son's sports day and you know, I wouldn't be a great sprinter by any stretch of the imagination, but I entered it for him. Yeah. Uh, and I can remember taking off and thinking, I'm going to win this. You can't feel them behind you. So I crossed the line for comedy effect backwards like that, only to see in the distance, true story, halfway up the track, all the other dads who had all elected to run hand in hand with their sons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be, yeah. I'll be honest with you, tough but moment. they haven't donated a kidney. They hadn't donated no. a kidney, <laughs> but neither had I at that time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. David Wallace and Charlotte Regan, everybody, staying with us.